Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, July the 18th, and I'm here at Disney's Caribbean Beach to take a look at some construction progress that's going on. Uh, as you know, we had the major announcement of the official grand opening date for the Disney Skyliner, which is on September 29th of this year. Uh, we had heard some dates from uh, Doppelmayr about August the 28th, which was the day before uh, Galaxy's Edge opening. Uh, definitely still look at that date as being feasible for possible soft openings. What I think that meant was they were going to turn, kind of turn the keys over to Disney at that point on the 28th, and then Disney can make any decisions on whether or not they want to open for soft openings. It's just basically Doppelmayr saying, yes, it's, it's safe to ride now. All the inspections have been passed and things like that, so we can start putting people on board. And Disney chose the September 29th date to officially Alright, so this looks really good right now. They've taken down all of the construction fencing around the Caribbean Beach Station here. So now we get a really clear shot of the entire station. All that's left is just some of the chain link fence and that will probably also come out once the project is completely done. I uh, probably just have some nice uh, shrubbery around here and some nice landscaping. Get a really great shot of the bus stop now. And you can see directly inside of the station, you can see the gondolas. Take a quick zoom in here. Yeah, this is the best look we've had inside this station. Bus stop looks really nice. Again, I'm assuming this bus stop is gonna be used for internal purposes. Uh, so this will become a stop so you don't have to walk if you don't want to if you're staying in one of the islands and you want to take a bus over here that's what i'm assuming this bus stop will be used for uh, i could also possibly be used for if the skyliner is shut down for any reason and they had to unload guests at the station here they can maybe bring buses in to take them to the different parks or resorts that they were trying to get to originally see a great shot of the, the yard. We're gonna let this bus pass by here real quick. Really look right inside the yard now. That's where they store all of the gondolas. Most of them are all out on the lines right now. You can see there are a few still being stored out there. And that looks like it's just gonna be protected by uh, some shrubbery as well. I'm sure there's a fence on the inside of that shrubbery. But these are really amazing looks right now. We're going to walk around a little bit more and see what else they might have done. Another great view from this side here without any fence obstruction. You can see right inside that bus stop now. They got all the lighting down the side here. The station looks really, really far along. I mean, it almost looks pretty well complete. Again, this is supposed to be like an open air marketplace is the concept. They're still working on some of the uh, the front courtyard area here. Most of the paving looks done. Uh, they might be doing a little work on the roadway. Uh, you can see where these uh, cranes or tractors, I'm not sure what they actually would be, are coming out. That looks like it'll be the main entrance for the bus to come in. Uh, so the bus would actually come in to the bus stop and it looks like a turnaround. It's kind of like a donut shaped turnaround back in the corner there and the bus would, would make its loop and then be able to pick up over in the, uh, the bus stop. We're gonna let these cranes go by. You can actually see the new walkways here. This is in front of Jamaica. There's a, a fence here, so I'm not gonna, it's kind of gated off so it's not open to the public yet. But you can see it's really nice. Uh, it'll connect Jamaica all the way down to a crosswalk uh, that you'll be able to walk across and then get over to the Skyliner station. Then there's walkways that'll take you into the station itself. Then you can choose whatever destination you want to go to. If you want to head over to Art of Animation, Pop Century, Hollywood Studios, you can jump on, head to the Riviera and Epcot as well. 
little more of the fenced off new sidewalk here. You can see exactly where it would cross, right where that uh, stop sign and that umbrella is. That's the opening and the crosswalk is over there as well. Get a nice look at the back side of the station here, or the front side, whichever way you want to look at it. So they are definitely getting ready for their September 29th grand opening date. It's absolutely amazing. And here's the other side where that walkway is going to come out. And you'll see where eventually you'll cross the street, walk right into the entrance, and then you can follow the pathways up as soon as that bus goes by. You can follow the pathways up right into the station. It's like we do have some weather that's starting to roll in. I hear some rumbling in the sky. So they may be shutting down all of the lines right now just for the weather conditions that are coming in. You can see the roadway, that's where the bus will enter. And like I said, they'll go down and they'll do a turnaround. They'll be able to pick up right at that bus stop. Take a quick look at the pathways project that they had going on over here in front of Trinidad. So it does look like they've just pretty much widened a path through here. Uh, this is coming from the current sidewalk here. So you can see the station right across Barefoot Bay. So it looks like they just widened this walkway and it does pretty much just move straight up to that current crosswalk. So it does not look like they're trying to redirect pedestrian traffic. And it looks like they're doing maybe just some landscaping here. It doesn't look like they've cut in any pathways uh, to come to the lower path to go underneath the bridge. So maybe this was just a sort of a renovation project. Uh, they just widened this path and it does look like they still want people to go up and over the road. Uh, eventually I do think that they are going to extend the walkway by the bridge that goes over the top of the bridge because right now you can only walk on the right hand side of the bridge uh, so hopefully they're going to open up the pathway on the left hand side as well it doesn't appear that they're going to do anything on this back half of the fenced area this just looks like is it's where they were uh, storing debris the big concrete slabs and everything when they were doing the actual work of tearing up the walkways over here so it does just look like they're they're redoing the walkway here and they'll probably just re-landscape everything uh, on the back end here as well, just clean it up. Definitely some uh, thunder rolling in behind me here, so we'll try to stay ahead of the weather if we can. So it is starting to rain a little bit here, so I came to one of my favorite spots to watch the rain, right in front of the Riviera Station. And we can see that they've actually added a beautiful new Disney Skyliner sign in front of the Riviera Station. So that looks just nice and clean and classy. It fits in beautifully with the station. Of course, they have those beautiful new gates right on the front entrance. Everything is looking really great at this station. A lot of landscaping is being done. They've added a bunch of new trees. It's like all the walkways are paved. Uh, they will just have to lay in the grass, the sod or whatever they'll put around. But it looks really beautiful. It looks like all the scaffolding is off of the Riviera Resort as well. Unfortunately, we just have some really great cloudy skies behind us. But I love that sign. That looks really, really nice. It's perfect. Again, just such a beautiful spot to watch the rainfall here at Disney World. Right in front of the Skyliner Station at the Riviera Resort. Very pretty. The wind hasn't picked up too much just yet. We'll see if it gets any heavier. We're completely under shelter here, so nice and safe. We just get to watch the rainfall and just enjoy how beautiful it is.
right, some people had asked if I would remove my microphone and just hear sort of the, the ambient sound of the rain itself. So I took the microphone out and we'll just let the sound kind of come through and you can hear it. Uh, crack of lightning back there. Okay, well, it doesn't look like the rain's going to let up anytime soon here, so I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, things are looking pretty amazing around here. I love that that fence is down. Uh, I love that we have a brand new sign here at the Riviera Station, so Disney is definitely preparing for that September 29th date. Uh, it's going to be an exciting day for sure. Definitely do not count out uh, anytime after August 28th, though. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for soft openings, uh, cast member testing, anything that might occur after that date. So it'll be a lot of fun to watch in the next... Uh, couple months here so definitely stay tuned visit passportoftheparks.com see all kinds of great stuff there uh, follow all the social media instagram twitter facebook and definitely subscribe here on youtube if you haven't done that yet uh, so you can follow along and hit that bell icon too it'll notify you uh, if i do live streams or bring you any kind of cool videos like this so thank you so much for being here and we will talk to you very very soon Bye bye